Good morning, my name is Jessica Nicole and I am soon to be the self-published author of YA fantasy romance novels. Uh, right now I'm on my way to my day job. <laughs> my plan is to quit my day job in May and this is my journey towards doing that. So I tried daily vlogging for a little while you guys and like <clears throat> that just was not working. <laughs> um, as you know, if you've watched my last few vlogs, I had like some crazy upsets in my life. And so now I'm going to vlog every couple days, post like twice a week or so. So um, what I popped on here to show you was yesterday I went to Burlington and they had these little spiral notepad journal things. <laughs> and I got two of them. This one just says, my life, my rules, my empire. And the other one I got says, look back only to see how far you've come. And it's got this pretty forest purpley scene on it. Uh, my favorite colors are pink and purple, so. Um, and I got these to like keep notes on things that I'm doing for myself and for my business. So I had a really cool dream last night and I wanna write it down in here before I forget. Um, I'll pop in later when I do some writing when I get home. Okay, so hopefully you can see me and the lighting isn't too terrible. I actually did not end up writing down my story idea that I got from the dream this morning. That's a little better. Yeah, I actually didn't end up writing my story idea down that I had from my dream this morning. Uh, because I was running late as usual <laughs> to work so I am going to do it right now it's just called story idea and I'm just going to write down the dream that I had and I'm gonna kind of talk through it like as I write so basically the dream that I had um, there was a character uh, standing at like do y'all know um, well, I was gonna say, do y'all remember, but I mean, they're still around because I saw one yesterday. But do y'all know like the Redbox movie rental machines? And so, like, she was shopping kind of like for a movie, but she was shopping for a boyfriend. So, that's kind of like the premise of it. And what was so great about this is like I've got an idea for the plot I've got my character who she's kind of like a shy introverted girl so I'm gonna write that down introverted kind of hopeless romantic we'll go with that and I got an idea for um, like a sidekick character who's kind of like, kind of spunky, pushy, but she means well. Okay. And this is kind of like my process <laughs> when I get like a random bout of inspiration. Um, when I'm listening to a song and I get inspired, it's a little different I might like write down the lyrics to a song that kind of inspired whatever and just kind of expand on them and so I like when I get inspiration for from dreams uh sparks and shadows the book I'm working on right now came from inspiration from a dream so uh it's just kind of it flows a little bit easier when it's like organic like that and I kind of want this to be like she needs the boyfriend for an occasion. Maybe Christmas or something. Because uh, the character, and it's not really in her nature to do something like this. Like it's kind of kind of be setting the future like this technology is known and it's available but it's not really 
it's kind of frowned upon. Anything else that I want to add? Mm, I think that's it. It's enough to get started on. Maybe in this future there's like a shortage of men to go around, but we've still got the same societal pressures to be with someone and be in relationships, get married and all of that. Also, um, in my notes tonight, I want to chart out how many words I still need to read. Hey guys, so it's Thursday afternoon, which means it's been a little while. Um, um, what I've been doing is basically just trying to keep my head above water here at work and yeah I'm watching next in fashion on Netflix right now it's my conference period while I am grading some papers um, writing update wise I am basically done with my rewrites for um, sparks and shadows all I need to do is fix the cover um, which I have, I made in Procreate on my iPad. I just need to fix the cover. And I need to, basically I went back and included something in the beginning of the story and I carried it through to the middle but I kind of dropped it at the end. So I want to include a couple of little scenes in the last four or five chapters that kind of ties all of that together and ties up that loose end. So I will probably be doing that this weekend, um, or maybe tonight if I can get around to it. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll do it tonight. I'm gonna do it tonight. That way I don't put it off. I have decided that I'm going to be doing NaNoWriMo for the first time in years. Um, and I'm going to actually do it over the story you guys uh, saw me talking about in the last clip. Uh, the story I had the dream that came from the idea that I had a dream about. I don't even know if I ma that made any sense. I'm so tired. Um, I had a dream and a story idea came from that. So that is going to be my NaNoWriMo novel. My goal is 80,000 words in the time frame of November <laughs> so we shall see hopefully I get that done and not only written but edited so that I can put it out around Christmas time because it's gonna have a Christmassy theme to it so I'm gonna get back to work so that when I get home I can just focus on writing all right so it is nearly eight o'clock at night I had a tutoring session after school for an hour so I got home, got showered, ate me some dinner, and I am almost done. I am about 10 pages from the end of my book, and I have added one of the two scenes that I wanted to add, so I'm just going to quickly add the last one, and I will be finished. Um, I would have gotten done a little faster if I wasn't still watching Next in Fashion. I'm kind of obsessed with the show at this point. But I'm getting there. 8.34 and I am done.